Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to talk about where I'm going to build an observatory in my garden. Two things you need to consider when building an observatory in your garden. What aspect of the sky you can see and where things like street lights are and how you can go about blocking them by positioning your observatory. So I'll talk a bit about my sky at the moment. So that is north over there, so Claris up there, there's a street light there. This is a nice west aspect, but there's a street light round the side of that house to the right. South, we've got the house, so you've got thermals from the house to contend with, and there's a street light straight ahead there through that gap, and there's one round the corner there. Firstly, I wanted to put the observatory here where that bush is because uh, it would basically use this bush to block that street light to the south and also the house would block the street light to the southeast. But my wife would prefer me to have it in the back corner, which is kind of understandable because it's not in the middle of the garden then. So we've agreed that if I move this clothesline to where the trampoline was this morning, so the trampoline there was there this morning, this is going to be moved to there. This back left corner is going to be free to use so I've got permission to build on this basically so that can be my little area for my astronomy which is cool the ground is sloping downwards so I'll have to build up a platform so it's nice and level so it's going to be built up further at the back than it is at the front I'm not sure whether I'm going to use timber stilts or a concrete base yet but I'll decide on that. Also, I'll be doing a shed conversion, so it'll be a roll-off roof observatory. So there's three materials you can use for that, really. There's wood, there's plastic, and there's metal. The last one I did in 2012, I made out of wood, and that was a 10 by six shed with a small warm room, and I had the, the roof kind of rolling over the warm room onto some very large L brackets. It was quite a neat job. Uh, but it did take me a long time. I only had the one child then, and now I've got three. Two of them are out at the moment playing. Um, so this isn't going to be the fastest progress observatory build in the world because all the kids are off school with the lockdown at the moment and work and that. But the wheels are turning. It's going to be built. 